Dear students, today we will begin our lesson with the chloroplast. One of the organelles inside the plant cell is said to be plastid. There are three types of plastids, chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. Chloro, the term chloro means green. So this is the green plastid. Chloroplast or organelle they conduct photosynthesis where the photosynthetic pigment chlorophyll captures the energy from the sunlight, converts it and stores it in the energy storing molecule, ATP and NADPH, while freeing oxygen from water in plant and algal cell. Dear students, look at the structure of chloroplast. The chloroplast has a few main structures. It's a very simple organelle. It's composed by two membranes, the outermost membrane, this one, and the inner membrane. So, this is the intermembrane space, okay? Now, this part, for example, this is, you can say you can compare them with the cytoplasm of a cell. This is said to be the stroma of the chloroplast. Now, there are structures called granum or grana, plural. This structure is said to be the granum. You can see right here, in this part, we call thylakoid. Okay. So, a thylakoid peg over one another to form the grana or granum. These are actually the sites for light-dependent reactions. Dear students, in our previous lesson, we studied two types of pigments. Accessory pigments and uh, its primary pigments. Primary pigments are chlorophyll A and B, accessory pigments are xanthophyll and keratinoid. Okay. These cluster inside the thylakoid to form a photosystem. There are two types of photosystem, photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Both of these capture sunlight energy. We have two types of photophosphorylation. One is called a, a cyclic photophosphorylation and it requires only photosystem 1 and another is called non-cyclic photophosphorylation and it requires both of the photosystem, photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Thank you dear students.